Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Ranger Autumn and I'm a park ranger with Allegheny County Parks. Today I will be reading for you Nothing Can Frighten a Bear by Elizabeth Dale and illustrated by Paula Metcalf. After our story, Ranger Amanda is going to talk to you about some cool facts about real live bears in our area. Deep, deep in the woods, with the moon shining bright, some bears snuggled up in their beds for the night. There was Mommy Bear and Daddy Bear, Grace and then Ben, and Baby Bear too, who lay dreaming, but then, as Baby Bear jiggled and wiggled some more, he suddenly woke when he heard a loud roar. Help, Baby Bear cried. There's a monster about. He's coming to get me. I just heard him shout. Don't worry, said Mama Bear, stroking his head. There aren't any monsters. Let's go back to bed. But Baby Bear whimpered. How can you be sure? I can't sleep till I know what made the big roar. In that case, said Daddy Bear, grabbing a light. Don't worry, we'll go looking for monsters tonight. You'll see there's nothing so scary out there, and anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. So five bears went marching through the tall trees when mom heard a noise and cried, everyone, freeze. So all the bears stopped. Could a monster be near? But out of the darkness there trotted a deer. You see, Daddy laughed, there's no monsters out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. The little bear said, we're as brave as can be, but no one saw mommy get caught in a tree. So four bears went striding out into the night when Ben saw a splash and squealed, there, on our right. They stopped where they stood on the slippery log. Then out of the water there hopped a big frog. You see, Daddy laughed, there's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. Keep going, said Daddy, there's no need to scream. But no one saw Ben slip and fall in the stream. So three bears squelched on down through thick, muddy tracks. When Grace said, what's that? Something brushed past my back. Perhaps it's a monster, said Baby. Oh no. But out of the darkness there swooped a black crow. You see, Daddy laughed. There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. They sloshed and they splashed as they tramped through the muck but nobody noticed that Grace had got stuck. Now two bears were sleepily wandering on. They still hadn't noticed the others had gone. The lamp gave a flicker and started to fade. I wanna go home, baby said, I'm afraid. All right then, said daddy, let's get you to bed. There aren't any monsters, it's just as I said. I told you that nothing can frighten a bear, but then he looked round and saw nobody there. But where have the others gone, Daddy Bear cried. I thought they were here walking right by our side. Perhaps they decided to go home to bed, or maybe a monster has got them instead. Then out of the darkness a shadow appeared. Oh no, Daddy cried. This is worse than I feared. Quick, take my paw, baby and hide behind me. There isn't just one monster here, there are three. Just look, they're so fierce, how their scary eyes stare. Now that is a sight that can frighten a bear. Oh baby, he shuddered, we must run away. But just then, the scariest monster roared. Hey! Poor daddy bear froze and cried, baby stay calm. But Baby Bear giggled and said, that's my mom. You silly, said Mommy Bear. Surely you see, we may look a mess, but it's Ben, Grace, and me. It's you, Daddy cried. Oh, how silly I feel. I thought for a second that monsters were real. So five bears went home, ready for bed. We're all stick together this time, Daddy said. 
Deep, deep in the woods, with the moon shining bright, the bears snuggled up in their beds for the night. Then suddenly everyone looked all around, for something had just made a strange, growly sound. I'm sure there's a monster now, baby bear cried. No, baby, it's you, the others replied. It wasn't a monster that scared you before. You woke yourself up with your very own Rory snore. Silly bears. So, now that we finished our story, Ranger Amanda is gonna talk to us about some real bears. We learned a lot about bears in our story, but did you know that bears also live around our area? The bear that lives here and is the biggest animal in our area here is the American black bear. They have really long claws that they use to climb trees to escape danger and to dig through rotting logs to find their favorite food, which is bugs. Bears don't use their claws to attack people or hunt for meat, which many people think that they do. Bears in our area are what we call omnivores. It means they eat both plants and animals. Humans are also omnivores. They have teeth much like us too. We can see in the black bear skull that they have big flat molars in the back like we do, and that's for grinding up plants. And they have sharp teeth in the front like we do for tearing up pieces of meat that they might eat. Other animals, like our bobcat, who only eat meat, are called carnivores, and they only have those sharp teeth that they need to do so. You can see them here. Animals like our muskrat or our white-tailed deer that we see a lot are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. So they only have the flat teeth that they need to grind up plants. Thank you for joining us and enjoying the story, and we hope that you keep an eye out for these animal friends in your neighborhood.